we're going back now, back to Grille de Midi, and I'm going to do the second part of it up to near the top of, uh, not near Mont Blanc, but the second part, the highest you can go. And I think that's the highest ski lift in the Chamonix Valley, as far as I'm aware. If I'm wrong, let me know, let me know in the comments. So, I've just also been informed by some guy that the La Fragère ski lift is also closed. Despite the weather being good, I guess because it's off season, maybe there's not enough people. Um, however, I think that's all right. We've seen a lot of things up there in Le Brevant. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the lake because it was covered in snow. But now I'm going to pretty much cross the valley, go up to the top of uh, Plan de la Guille, which is where I was yesterday, and then up to the top of La Guille de Midi, which is the very top point there, which you can probably not see very easily on this wide angle lens. Um, and then I'm going to sit, I'm going to ask if my ski pass covers right across there in the other part of the valley near uh, Les Houches, however you pronounce it. And uh, if it does, I'm going to take a bus ride and there's a, a, about four other ski lifts around that way, which I need to check out as well. Right, so this is La Gueule de Midi, but it looks like this is a queue. If that's a queue, I'm, screw that, I'm going to go to the next place. I'll go uh, to La Houche down the valley. I think this actually is the, the queue to get it, to go on the lift. That's going to take hours. Yeah, this looks like the queue. Okay. Yeah, screw that. Right, so I don't think this one's actually open. I was told it was. Let's go and find out. Well, it is open, but there's no one here. I might have the whole thing to myself. That's interesting. Wow. So apparently I've got to wait for the next one, which apparently is happening now. So I guess I'll wait here. Hopefully someone will come and let me in. There's nobody waiting here. Not like the Aguilde Midi, which was completely packed. There's a few people, I guess a few walkers and things. Hello. Ah, can I see? Old ski lift to myself. Really cool, isn't it? <clears throat> okay. Normally they pack about 40 people into it. At least I can stand near the front. Shall I just press the button and, and uh, start the lift going? <laughs> well, I've been waiting for about 10 minutes now. Um, there is nobody else coming on the ski lift. Thank you. 
passé. This is Bellevue. I think I'm saying that right. And this looks like more of a hiking, like beginner slopes, uh, ski place, I think. But it's very quiet, there's almost no one here. So I wanna see what hiking trails there are, see where the next ski lift is. I think there are a few open today, but I don't know if they're all open. Like this one, for example, this one's definitely closed. This looks like one of those jump on ones where you, you uh, jump on with your skis. Yeah, beautiful place for skiing though. And uh, not sure what's over there, I think. Now, I'm gonna check the map in a second, but I think this is actually one of the ascension start, like point starting points for climbing Mont Blanc. The annoying thing is I don't really know which of these mountains is Mont Blanc. I assume it's the highest one, which looks like it's that one. But it's hard to tell, they're all sort of blowing into one because there are literally so many of them. So many mountains, I mean, not so many Mont Blancs. I think I'll see what's at the top of this. But I wanna make sure that I get, hit all the ski lifts are open today. So I might not be able to walk too much further up here. There's also quite a delay on the ski lifts, they seem to be only every half an hour. Bonjour. So, that is Mont Blanc, but that's not the summit. Apparently you can only see the summit when you go over that, and then it's further, so it's even higher. But, what I'm gonna do, apparently half an hour this way, and there's Mont Lachat, which is another mountain, similar to Mont Blanc, not as high. And from there, from there apparently I should be able to see a good panorama, panorama even of the landscape, so I'm gonna check that out. But I'm a bit wary of time and how long it takes to get around now. Like the ski lifts have, have uh, they take half an hour. I think I've got another, another 25 minutes at this elevation. Very steep. I can see the top. That's the top. This is the hardest hike I've ever done. Not because it takes long, but because it's so steep. I'm gonna get to the top. I'm gonna do it. Almost done it. A little bit further. Come on. Oh, there's even snow. Wow. We can do this. I started way down there. I'm also trying not to get sunburned. So every time I turn a corner, I switch hands to like protect myself from the sun. So close. <laughs> Come on. Five more minutes. All I can taste is lactic acid. I'm actually so happy I can do this because a few years ago 
I thought I would never be able to walk properly again after I damaged my knee, after I damaged my knee free running. But now I can do things like this. And I'm so grateful, really so grateful. <laughs> right at the summit, almost there. Yes! Come on! <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like. I'll see you next time. Going down is the worst part.